on call. I'll definitely call. I assume it's in the courthouse in Scranton. I'll call. Hi, so apparently Jason has court tomorrow. We didn't receive any papers on that. But I'm sure I'll tell the court how he's been treating me, if that's the case. So can someone give me that information? Because I've been... Am I okay? No. No, I'm not. I've been treated pretty horribly. For just saying so when barking in my ear is annoying. Called every name in the book. So I really need that information. I guess it's okay if you're bipolar to bark in someone's ear and hurt their ears. They're not supposed to say anything about it. They're just supposed to let it go. I guess it's, I have to let that go too. That I'm called every name in the book and put down. I guess I'm supposed to put up with that too. Because he's bipolar, right? <laughs> I'm not supposed to put up with being called how disgusting I am for not being able to properly care for myself. <laughs> I'm just supposed to feel broken and down my whole life. Treat it like I don't matter. And like I don't exist. That's what I should be doing. I guess. Be a good girl. Be silent over what you go through. I wish I could disappear. I really do. But I really need to know. It 
it's okay for him to do whatever he wants to me. If I say something, I'm the evil one. amazing I'm the one crying and he's the one who's the good guy I can be treated like utter shit but I do need to know about this court Because I need out. I need a pl I need a, a place to go. A place to be safe. A place where I'm not mentally torn down. It treated like I don't matter. <laughs> I want to be protected. I want to matter. anyone have an answer to the court date? Oh, fuck off, Rizla. You're a piece of shit. I'm not gaslighting anyone. I'm not gaslighting anyone. I'm torn apart. And I'm ready to disappear. <sighs> you can go away too. I see how you put shit in his head and get him to treat me fucking foul. I find it very interesting that mostly men saying this to a woman. You're probably abusive toward women. You probably love to see a woman in pain and hurting and suffering. All I do is stick it, stand up for my sisters.
Oh, Ancia, you love seeing me get my karma. All you want to do is spread your legs for anyone you see popular on the internet. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm not getting any karma. What karma am I receiving? What did I do to deserve to be treated so horribly? Huh? Everything you're mad at me about is what he did. You call me fat all you want. I don't care. It's okay. A woman can cry so many times, but yet nobody believes the woman until she's dead. That's the truth. Men enjoy hating women. Men enjoy abusing women and treating them like shit and like they don't exist. And tearing them down until they feel like they are nothing with no hope or prospect in life. I have nothing to live for. I have nothing to die for. I'm just here, forced to exist and live in misery, knowing you tried your hardest just for everyone to hate your fucking guts. That's what I live. Sorrow and hatred thrown at me on every side with no safe place. You can go be abusive to me and say whatever you want. says more about you than me. I'm a woman crying. Feeling empty and completely lost and broken hearted. Broken hearted. You hear what you want to hear, but you don't listen. You believe what you want to believe, but you don't seek the truth. This world is so demonic. The majority of people you're going to meet in this world are going to be demons. And they're going to be demons to you and say how much they love you. But under the same breath, under the same tongue, they tell you how much they despise you. That's what humans do. 
and I hate people. <laughs> they can't treat me with an ounce of care or respect. They tear that they're in my life. They expect me to feel loved when I've been so torn down by their own words. They expect me to be forgiven when I'm showed no mercy or forgiveness. Everything is thrown in my Everything is thrown in my face. You can say how much you love me publicly, but privately you tell me how much you despise me. It's so funny how everyone says I don't care about him being bipolar, but no one gives a shit about me being borderline. No one gives a shit or even know that loss and rejection is our number one <laughs> trigger. Nobody cares about that and they continue to reject you they continue to be evil with their tongue to you they should, yeah. you want to complain about me not caring about jason's fucking bipolar even though i do i take extra care not to try to fucking trigger him but nah, for him, he uses every trigger possible to piss me off, to make me feel like I'm unwanted and I'm unloved. You call someone a pig? You call someone disgusted and pathetic? That they're fat? You expect them to feel loved that way? You, ex you expect them to feel wanted that way? Well, they don't! No one takes in consideration of my mental disorder. All I wanted in my life was to feel loved and accepted and treated with respect, and I never, not once, got that. It's always this back and forth, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, I love you. And I'm in tears again. Wondering what the fuck did I do this time? And you know what? I didn't do anything. Other than express myself. I'm barked in my ear. I'm, I'm, I, I say that's annoying. And I'm treated like the scum of the earth. You try living with that? He can say publicly how much he loves me. Privately, he tells me how much he hates me and how worthless I am.
I didn't get held. I didn't get told it's going to be okay. I got told, I'm sorry. Why, why aren't you happy right now? You're disgusting. You're pathetic. How dare you cry? Constant gaslighting. Constant. Told I don't feel the way I do. Constant I should feel this way. Constant I should do this. I should do this. Constant you really not in pain. You can do what you want to do. But when I do what I want to do, I get yelled at. I get treated like I'm horrible. I can't even say someone's being annoying for barking in my ear without getting hell for a day and a half. Almost two days now. I don't got freedom. I don't got love. I don't got acceptance. All I have is hate. And get laughed at for being upset over it. Another form of gaslighting is you're upset over what they do and they act like it's a fucking joke. You say, I don't care about his mental health. Nobody gives a damn about mine. It's okay to laugh at the girl who's broken. It's okay! She's broken! She's awful! <laughs> Let's just laugh at her! <laughs> Let's just laugh at her and then in public say how much I love her even though I'm making fun of her! If you truly love someone, you want to take that pain from them. And you want to comfort them. And you want to make them feel like they're special. Do I get that? No, I get laughed at! I get laughed at for being upset. And made fun of and told how disgusted I am for being upset. What did I do when I woke up? I don't care. I was willing to let all this go and I said I love Yeah, you. and then you went back to calling me disgusted and a pig and a cunt and every other name in the book. Because you had your head in your phone and you called me a pig. Why do you think? You are free. You are free to get up and walk out this door. Yeah, let me hobble to the door to the corner of the street and sit Leave there. Leave this place. Leave this place. Yeah, if only I had a place to go, I would! Well, fine. I don't want the door open! Can you close the goddamn door? 
You're constantly opening and closing doors, and I'm tired of it. All you're doing is letting hot air in and letting the cold air out or keeping the hot air in. Can I have something? You're no victim. All you do is treat me like shit. And then when I finally had it, you act like you're the hurt one. And I'm tired of being used that way. My parents used me that way. My brothers and sisters used me that way. My exes treated me that way. I'm upset! And it's valid to be upset when you're treated like you're garbage! It's valid to be upset when you're not treated with respect! And you're treated like you're some kind of fucking enemy when all you want to do is just live. And you can't. But I hope there's a court date tomorrow. Tell them what you've been doing to me. And then you'll get it. Legally. You'll finally get, oh, you, you fucking abused a fucking disabled woman and treated her like shit. You'll get that. You get to feel how I feel! And embarrass me in the public with your fucked up antics always bragging about how other women want you. Always bragging how good looking you are and how 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 much of a good guy you are you don't cheat on me good guys don't say that you're lucky I don't cheat on you wow I never said that <laughs> you did the other day I never said yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Okay. But continue to twist things, because that's what you do. I'm not twisting anything. I'm being a mirror. You're abusive. I'm not abusive. And everybody sees it. I'm not abusive. I don't Everybody. call you names. Everybody. I don't call you names. That's why the I don't touch to you. Privately to talk to I don't take advantage of you. I say please and thank you to everything. Yeah. I go out of my way to stay silent. Mm -hmm. You're real silent. I make excuses you. for you. Oh! Oh, I've done that for you many times. See? You don't love me.
I want to be free and not be abused and treated bad. I want to be validated and supported. I want to be looked at as family and a friend and a confidant. That's what I want. Have I ever gotten that from anyone? No. No. I get told I'm disgusting. And I'm fat. And I'm undesirable. How much I'm hated. Reminded how many people hate me. That's what I get. Not an ounce of respect or dignity. Not an ounce. But I was truly evil. If I was truly the bad guy, I'd be a lot different. I wouldn't be a pool of tears. I'd be seeking revenge. No, but I cry out to my Heavenly Father. Take me, Lord. I don't want to be here anymore. It's cruel. <laughs> Every day on this earth is just another reminder of how cruel it is. How uncaring. No warmth in it. Just sorrow and mourning and feelings of unloved and hated. That's every day for me. A reminder that I'm hated. A reminder I'm unloved. A reminder that mankind looks at me as some insignificant being that's expendable. Not one day have I felt special. And that I matter. Always oh, reminded how horrible I am. <laughs> and I don't even do half the things you people do to others. Jesus Christ said, if the world hated you, know that it hated me first. <laughs> I know Jesus loves me. But I sure wish he would take me off this rock. And let me just be with him. And only him. So I don't have to deal with being tormented on this planet anymore by hateful pieces of shit.
You can't say you love someone and make them feel like they're hated pieces of shit. You can't say you love them and then rip them up and tear them down and treat it like they don't matter. That's not love. That's hate. That's control. That's possession. But love it ain't. That's how I am. That's how I feel. If you're mad at me for feeling that way, oh well, I don't care. It's how I feel. I feel unloved and uncared for. Because of how I'm treated. The Bible says out of the mouth comes the abundance of the heart. And if that's what's coming abundantly out of their mouth, that's what's abundantly in their heart. No, not if they're bipolar and they say shit they don't mean. Honey. Because I love you. But I'm so abusive to you. When you're spiraling, you can be. I'm not spiraling. I'm saying how I feel because I was put in that position. Okay. I will validate that. Absolutely. I am truly sorry. If you honestly think someone's saying it's annoying for you barking in their ear is disrespect toward you, I can't help you. I'm you are disrespecting me by barking in my ear. Yes, because I was too mad and I got... Yeah, but yet I'm the abusive one, but yet you were the one who started it and started barking in my ear disrespecting me. I'm sorry. And I'm called a bitch and a whore and everything all goddamn night. You're none of that. You are none of that. None of that. I always wanted a, a fairy tale romance where I have a prince rescue me. That doesn't exist. Honey. Treat me like a queen. That doesn't exist. It's not real. It doesn't matter. It's how I should be treated. Relationships have back and forth. I should be treated like I matter. And not treated disrespectfully. And that's why I clean your ass for you. Okay? You do matter. Do you know how disrespectful saying that is to someone? No, it's not. Yeah, I it love is. you. No, you don't. Okay. Constant embarrassing me on the internet. Yeah, you roll your eyes at me constantly. Well, gee, when someone's bragging about how teenagers are flirting with you, maybe it is fucking I ridiculous. Teenagers. Oh, look at these young girls always flirting with me. Fucking dumb shit. 40 year old man acting that way. And then be, and, then, and not seeing the disrespect in your wife in that. Oh my. That's your own insecurity. Yeah, right. It is. Because I don't look at them at all. 
Yeah, except you tell me how hot they are. Well, they are. I thought you didn't look at them. How do you know they're not hot if you don't look at them? Because I'm not blind. Yeah, so you did look. Yeah. Yeah, I have all these eyes. hot women. I have on. eyes. Well, good for you. Why don't you try something with them and, and see how your hot relationship guys, is. There's hot guys that hit on you. Who? I'm never out. Not out. I mean on the internet. Hot guys. Very hot guys. Do I brag about it? Yeah. No, well, I don't. You know you're hot. No, I don't. So I you, think I'm gross most of the time. You're not, though. And when you when you dress yourself up and get some makeup on, you look gorgeous. I don't want to be hot! I don't want to be labeled as some kind of sex thing! I'm 41 years old! I admit that. Just a I don't want to be sexualized. I'm just complimenting you. That's not a compliment. To tell you you're hot? That's not a compliment? No. Oh, okay. Because you don't mean it. Yes, I do. Oh, really? Because in private you tell me how fat and disgusting I am. I don't mean that. Oh, you don't mean it. No. Oh, so in private you say the things you don't mean. When I'm really bipolar out and angry. Yeah. Well, I say what I mean. Okay. I don't fucking lie to hurt someone just to hurt them. Part of my disease. Yeah, right. I've never been treated by so with someone with bipolar like you have treated me. How many bipolar people? No. Several. Okay. Well, mine manifests this way. And I'm sorry. Because I truly love you. No, you don't. Okay, fine. I don't. That's gaslighting. Yeah, you can't treat me like you love me, though. When I fucked up. No, I fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then go to therapy like you promised everyone. Get the help you need. Yeah, I gotta go to Scranton Counseling. They can yeah, why don't you do it for once? Well, it was gas, but I have gas. Like, I've been asking you for, I haven't for had the over gas. years. I okay. haven't had years. Years I've been asking you no, to get you help. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. Because this hasn't manifested this bad. So you're lying again. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Really? Stop lying. How am I lying? It's been in the last year that it's no. gotten this bad. No. Oh, God. Make your own narrative then. Go ahead. Make your own fucking narrative. I'm not making my narrative up. It's do the all truth. The time anyway. It's the truth. I've no, been asking you to get help for truth. years. It's been the last year that I've been starting to see Phil fucking appear in front of me. Well, maybe you should change the way how you live. Yeah, I would. I'm a caregiver to you, and I can't be away from here long. Yeah. Too bad you don't care for my emotions and mental state. Well, I am going to get help. I am. Yeah, because okay. I want, I want to be what you need. But I'm not mentally well enough to do it. So I need to do that. I'll go... Look, if I got... Court you can't even call the fucking cops to see if you have a court case tomorrow. You can't even call anywhere to see if something's going on with you. Well, I don't know how they, they would know. I would have to call the courthouse. And I, they told me, the cops... When yeah, they, and I asked you to, and you were like, I don't care. When the cops... Let them arrest me, fine. The cops... Be arrested tomorrow. Would you shut up? No. The cops were here, and they told me, you'll get your notice in the mail. And I didn't receive anything in the mail. I'll enjoy being in handcuffs tomorrow. No, I'm going to go. 
I'll go to the court. I, I'm going to go to Scranton counseling at least tomorrow. And then I'll go to the courthouse. You ain't going to do shit. Huh? All you are is full of broken promises. Oh, All I've been given is broken promises. Broken promises, yeah. I know. Go to marriage counseling. That didn't happen. Broken promises, that's all I have. And hate. <laughs> I feel fucking safe. I hope someone presses that red button to end all of our misery. Happy Shannon never existed. Because Happy Shanny is not allowed to exist. Whenever I'm happy, it's that time for man to put me down and treat me like I'm nothing. And I say man specifically because it's mostly men who abuse me. It's mostly men who say horrible shit to me. You wonder why you guys don't get laid? It's because you treat women like shit. You wonder why you men don't have good relationships? It's because you treat your woman like shit. You wonder why you're alone and bitter. It's because you treat women like shit.
if there actually are good men out there. I've never met one. I never met one, not one, not one man have I met that treated a woman decently. Not one! Keep pointing your fingers at me when it's your fault. It's men who cause the wars in this world. It's men that causes the fights in this world. It's men who like to degrade women and use the basic tropes of she's crazy, she's a bitch, she's a slut. That's all you got. Or, or fat. You're fat, you're a bitch, you're crazy, and you're a slut. That's all men can give women. while expecting us to suck their little fucking peepees. I mean, some of them eat small, you know. Some Spread are, your legs, bitch. Some are Pringle cans, you know. Spread your legs, bitch. That's all you're good for. You're just a cum dumpster. That's how women are treated in this world. You're just a brood mare. You're just there to put babies in. And if you get pregnant and you have ectopic pregnancy, mm. fuck you, bitch. Die. Mm. We'll just let you fucking die of substance. Because mm. you didn't give the baby a place to stay in your uterus. How dare you, you bitch. You crazy bitch. There's women on the Supreme Court, you know, and they, they fucking let that shit go through the dots. Kagan, you know, what's her name? Kagan, uh, Sotomayor. Probably because they were forced to by men and their threats. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe. Because that's all men know how to do is threaten you and make you feel insecure. Do they make you feel alive like your princess? That your love? No, they can't do that! Controversy and division and contempt is more important. War. God, I wish women would do us a favor and close their legs and say no to men. You want me to put babies in this world? No. Not if they're going to end up like pieces of shit like you. I'm a piece of shit. Are you a man? Yeah. I am. Point taken. I wish I was alone. I wish I was on a spaceship alone, away from people.
I am a man, but and they're abusive ways. I am a man, but I'm a man that loves you. Yeah, why don't you start treating me like you love me? I know I fucked up, but I do love you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't believe it. Okay. I believe actions, not words. I know. And that's the way it should be. Words are meaningless when you keep doing the same thing over and over again. That gets me to hate you. I know, and I'm sorry, and I need to be medicated. I do. Yeah, but you do nothing to help yourself. Well, I'm gonna. And then you blame me why you can't help yourself. No, it's just true, honey. You can't wipe yourself. I have to be here all day. <laughs> But well, you're starting to get good services now, so maybe I could get time to get help. You know? No, I thought I wasn't disabled, Jason, but yeah, I can get services for a disabled no, person. You, That's interesting. No, I didn't mean that. You are disabled. You are. Go in the corner, bitch, and stand there. Hey, disabled woman, go walk to the corner. I do think you need to move more, honey. You know what you meant. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I really, I, I do think you need to move more. Well, good. I've been saying I need a fucking walker. Yeah, the doctor hasn't done shit. I know. But maybe that'll change now. Maybe I'll move more if I have something where I don't feel like I'm going to fall down. Well, you have better health care now, and maybe you'll get all of this stuff now, baby. Maybe if my legs didn't shake so much, maybe I'd feel a little steady. I know. But yeah, oh, I'm not disabled. I can walk. I can do all this shit. Oh, uh, you say that now. I didn't mean that. I know you're disabled, honey. Telling me all week how I need to take a, vaca a, a Kevorkian vacation. No. You're, you're for that. You're for euthanasia. You have been essentially all week been telling me I need to die. And you've been saying it about yourself. And then you say you love me. I do love you. Yeah, but you want me to die? No. No. Then why would you say something like that to someone? Why do you say you want to die constantly, honey? Because I can! Okay. Fair enough. Maybe if I didn't have it shoved in my face like you do to me, maybe maybe I wouldn't feel that way. No, you say it about yourself every day. I don't do shit. <sighs> Take a Kevorky and fucking vacation. You're for that. You say it yourself. I hope I do die. Then you can have these shitty fucking women oh who throw gosh. themselves See, at you. That's what this comes down to. Is me being with other women. You're obsessed with it. Hey, you can be with these shitty fucking women that throw themselves at you. And then you can see how, how, how a real abusive woman's going to be. I want you. These shitty little fucking whores. Yeah, you're right. Okay? I love you. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Yeah, I know. I want you. That bitch Ansia saying, I enjoy seeing you get your karma. Fucking whore.
So maybe you'll get your wish, you know, die. And you can be with these shitty fucking bitches. But no, if they're coming on to men who are married on the internet, they're probably going to cheat on you too. There. Now you can really see how it is to be with someone. Be cheated on. Because that's what people like to do in this world. Is cheat. And cause people anguish by cheating. I'm glad I'm not like you guys. I'm glad I don't think between my legs. I take pride in that. That I don't think between my legs. I take pride that my actions aren't fueled by getting laid. Because that seems to be the only thing that matters to people nowadays. Is getting laid. Even though that's how all of us are here. Because our parents got laid. And you make it like it's some fucking big deal in life to get laid. <laughs> when everyone fucks. You act like you're some kind of stud. Some kind of bitch. Some kind of thought because you get laid. It's easy to get laid. It's easy to be thought of as a sexual being. Ever thought about challenging yourself? Having a little pride with your body? And not putting yourself out there like that? And then you bitch and cry if someone cheats on you. Maybe you shouldn't have cheated. Why are you bitching and crying when someone cheated on you when you cheat too? Hypocrite much? I don't do that. What I do is I reflect what the world gives me. I put light on it. And I say, this is mankind. An over-sexual, brute, insensitive piece of shit race. Who puts himself before God, as always. True. You have no spiritual sight, so you can't see anything spiritually meaningful. I take chastity as spiritually meaningful. Amen. Because when I'm not spreading my legs, I'm giving honor to God. Amen. When I'm not given in to the flesh, I'm given honor to God. Mm. 
No. No. You show your bodies off. And you beg people who are already taken to take you. And then you expect to be treated better than their significant other. Good luck with that. You're spitting truth on. I despise mankind. All you want, all mankind wants is bullshit, blood from their wars, and an over-sexualized culture to warp it so they can be easily controlled. You see a pair of tits or an ass, and you're like, oh... All meaning and spirituality go out of the window. All your nonsense, I love God, goes out of the window. Because you're looking at a human being as an object instead of a person. And then you call me the devil. When I look at people as people, persons, not as objects. And you hate me because I speak the truth. You hate me because I reflect your own shit back at you. Seethe. Wail and gnash your teeth. Because that's what you're going to be doing in hell. Because you decided to put yourself in God's position and put yourself above others. Me? I'm not above anyone. I'm not below anyone either. But do I like mankind? No. No. I see them a despicable man-child race who can't grow the fuck up and learn to stop doing things that are undignified. And you hate my contempt for it? I could give a fucking shit. Because if you're mad at my contempt, you're going to be even more madder at God's contempt. Human beings are capable of such great things, but they choose the low route. They chose the low mentality. They choose... They hate others. Cause war. Cause division. Cause dissension. The Bible says to a mark and avoid those who cause contemptions and divisions. In math or in Romans 16. If you don't believe me, you could go to Titus 3 9 2 if you want. 
read that section. God puts the prophets on the earth because the prophets loathe humans and their actions. You don't want to listen to God. You want to listen to your emotions. You don't want to do right by your fellow man. Because you're too into the revenge thing. You got to make them feel bad. You got to make them feel really low so you can feel better about yourself. And you laugh about it. And you get cocky about it. And you feel like you're better than other people. Because of it. You're spitting some good truth, man. I hope people are listening to this because you're preaching good. Why? Am I convicting you? For being a man and an asshole? Yeah. You are. But I'm just a lowly woman. I'm just a cunt. Mm -hmm. I'm just disgusting and pathetic. I know nothing. Not true. The only thing I know is how much I despise mankind. For their worthless, thoughtless words. And if you don't think my words are true, you're going to hear it from God on Judgment Day. You're going to hear it out of his mouth. I've always said it. Your judgment day is my redemption day. Because all I've gotten in this world is judgment. There's no use for me being judged by God in heaven when mankind does his job for him. I'm already broken hearted person. The Bible promises he's close to people who are broken hearted. I talk to God every day. Do you? I bet you don't. But you'd rather talk about talk to some whore on the internet. And talk to God. Bet you're more into talking about other people on the internet. Than actually talking to God. I also guarantee that you don't pray for your enemies. I can guarantee that, that your heart is full of vengeance. I can also guarantee that. You want to talk about other people's behaviors without seeing your own ugliness and trying to help it. Mm -hmm. 
my ugliness in me, everything, all of it is nothing but sorrow and grief. There's no hatred in me. There's no vengeance in me. Just sorrow and grief because mankind can't seem to grow the fuck up and join being an actual humanitarian. Be an actual human humanist. Be an actual lover of people. Even Jesus Christ threw tables and chairs at people who are contemptuous, who use people. Who throws away the sick and tell them they're no good. I'm told I'm no good on the daily by everyone. And you expect a smile on my face. You expect me to be happy. <laughs> you expect too much. You can't treat people like dirt and expect them to be happy with you. Psychos. I never want to see scientist Sam or Rizla again. Those words you say. I deserve what I get. Fuck you. Your curse you tried to put on me will be put on you tenfold. Not by me in my own words, but by God. Enjoy your downfall, Rizla and Scientist Sam. God's gonna tear you asunder. And you, Ansia, you're probably gonna get diseased. Because you can't stop spreading your legs. Probably already diseased.
do not touch God's anointed. And you'll see it. You'll see it. Hey, Han, do you need anything? Peace. I, I hear you, but do you want me to, like, get you, do you want me to heat up some pizza for you or anything? Or? Why do you want to do anything for me after threatening you'll never help me again? I didn't mean that shit. I love you, and I'm sorry. I really am. I love you, honey. You're preaching fire, not very good stuff. God speaking right through your mouth. They don't like it, though. That's some conviction, you know? I don't care if they don't like it. That's their problem that they have to fix within themselves. Yep, repent. Jesus is coming. Do, do you want foods? Or are you okay? <laughs> no! I'm not hungry. You know I don't get hungry when I'm upset. Okay. Just checking on you, hon. Pretend you're nice to me in public. Private, it's another story. I gotta pretend I'm a good guy somehow. Oh my god. <sighs> Boy, would I love to hear you say those things to me in I private. This morning. Yeah, and then you went on a tangent of how horrible and disgusting I am. Well, you know what? Talking about how all the women want you is piggish. I do nothing to try and make up with you. Yeah, you make up with me, and then you treat me like shit again. Well, it is piggish! I'm gone, dude. Whatever. Hey. Right! Well, it, it's funny. You can say whatever you want to me, but I say something to you, I'm the devil. Treat me like shit, have me cry all day, and then, oh, it's, I, I, I'm sick of this. I, I want you to like me again. Yeah. How about not treat me like shit? And I wouldn't be like this. I wouldn't feel like this. But it's nice you say it in public. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Witches have more kindness than Christians. Witches are more kind than Christians! Don't you find it weird that witches are more nice to me than Christians, Muslims are more nice to me than Christians. You wonder why people don't find Christ anymore. It's because of your own actions. You wonder why people lose faith. It's because you do not know how to exhibit the kindness, grace, and mercy that Christ did. You're not Christians. You say you are because you, you think it makes you look good. And it doesn't. Because people like me, 
see actual kindness from witches? from Muslims while well, you bitch about the witches and you bitch about the Muslims but at least they have kindness at least they exhibit Christ a lot more than you do they rape with kindness absolutely that's yours now Christians rape I've been raped by nothing but Christians. I wasn't raped by Muslims or witches. I was raped by Christians. Why don't you go to the UK and see what happens? All Christians ever exhibited is this phony kindness, not true kindness. I mean, this is exactly the parable of the Good Samaritan. How the man found mercy in a Samaritan, an unbeliever, than the believers. The, the, the believers show the man on the side of the street with disdain. Oh, I'll pray for you. They never helped the person, got them back on their feet. You can even see it in the Twelve Apostles, how they abandoned Jesus because they loved their life more. They never truly sacrificed for Christ. They abandoned him. You want to talk about the gays, Christians. You want to talk about the Muslims. You want to talk about the witches and the pagans, but you never want to talk about your own fucking deceptions. How you deceive yourself like you're some good, pompous person, and you put everyone around you down. You don't want to see that, do you, Christian? No. Instead, you have a woman right now at her wit's end and finally saying how she fucking feels about mankind and their bullshit. You want to tear everyone down except your own bad behavior. You don't want to tear your bad behavior down. You don't want to be actually like Jesus, do you? You don't want to think like him. You don't want to feel like him. You don't want to have compassion, grace, empathy like him. You want revenge. You want hate.
and you say you're a believer in Christ. <laughs> you're more of a child than Satan with your accusations and railings against mankind. You want to support a country that is genociding a people that did nothing to you. And you want to complain about Iran for giving Russians weapons even though Americans gave Ukrainians and Israel weapons to bomb innocent people. You want to make the Muslims look like they're the bad guys when all they're doing is trying to defend themselves from monsters who claim they're the righteous ones. Death and destruction doesn't make you righteous, it makes you evil. You don't like that? Suck it! Suck it! All life is precious and you refuse to see it because you want to put yourself above others. Well, how do you feel? That someone beneath you or you deem beneath you is speaking. You like it? You like that I despise you? You like that I see the hatefulness in you? Do you like it? Do you like me beaming that fucking light on your heart and showing how damned you are? Because you refuse to actually be a human. You'd rather be demonic. You'd rather be hateful and contentious. Fine. Hate me for it. I don't care. I'll go in the devil's face and tell him how much of an evil fuck he is and I don't give a shit about my life I'll die for that cause I'll die telling the devil he's an evil fucking shithead I'll die telling humans who are doing evil, that they are evil. I'll die on that position. Because it's a true position. You want to deny it about yourself? I'll give you 20 fucking examples that it is who you are. Because I see what you say about me. I see your disdain for me. Hey, I pinned some that Sabella put up there. You might want to look at that. What'd she say? I don't have my glasses. Okay, money. She gave a number for a, a DV shelter for you. If you want to go. Okay. Because I don't want to do this to you anymore. I know how fucked I am in the head, and I'm sorry. So, for real, you know, I pinned it. I understand why Sabella was so angry all those years. Why? Because Bruce treated her like shit. Did he? I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. I don't know anything. He was a drunk, too. Okay. I get it. I knew nothing about that stuff. Huh? 
Honey, I am so sorry. I'll say it publicly, privately, whatever. I love you and I'm sorry. And I am going to get help. I promise you tomorrow I'm going. Okay. You're going to be in jail tomorrow. If I am, I am. That's fine too. I'll get help there. I will. You know. He's so worried about me not having anyone and then you do this. Like, I, I do what? Uh, then I'm not going to have anyone when you're in jail. No, but you will. You have good health care. They'll probably send someone out here. Probably not. No, no one gives a damn about me. Honey, you got good health care now. You do. Because you are disabled and they recognized it, you know? First thing tomorrow, when I wake up, I'll call, I'll make calls, and, and I'll try and get people to be here for you if I have to go to jail. You know what I mean? I love you. And you're preaching fire. Good stuff. You want to hate me? Fine. But at least I'm not like you. At least I don't do what you humans do. <clears throat> at least I don't go out of my way to break God's heart. And do the things he tells you not to to do like you Gary Moore always the revenge thing always the vengeance thing I told you a long time ago your vengeance is gonna be your undoing if you don't repent and it will be I mean do you really want to tempt the Lord to spit you out of his mouth and tell you you practice iniquity, you dumbass. And you, Carrie, you complain and say you're a believer in Christ, but you treat me like trash. You don't show any quality of Christ. What quality of Christ have you shown? Have you shown me compassion? Have you shown me empathy? No, you have dollar signs in your eyes yeah. and treating me bad gets you money and you think you're going to get grace from Christ when oh. you go to heaven for it? Right. Ha! Huh. Get away from me, you who practice iniquity. That's what you're going to hear on Judgment Day, Carrie. Because you do every day go out of your way to touch God's anointed. All you people say you believe in Christ and you treat someone horribly. You don't love your enemy. You know, I wonder if Carrie realizes how good of a friend she could have had with you. You know? You don't love your enemy. You practice deception. You practice bearing false witness against someone. You practice contention and division in poison in the well. You practice gossiping. You practice harassing and abusing mankind. You practice manipulation, Carrie. You practice iniquity.
No, she got on and what she wanted didn't happen, which is you leaving me. She treated you the way she did. You see? Then make money. Money. Disgusting. You're a Christian? Yeah, right. Ah. So Bella is way more Christian than you. Sabella so actually does have empathy. She does practice empathy. I have seen it multiple times, even though there's been multiple times I've been pissed off at her. And she does listen. And she doesn't post everything you say to them in private. Because God knows she has a shit storm of Skype messages from me. Because we were friendly once. She told me her problems, I told her my problems. But I don't have to tell you any of this. I could be completely silent. And you'll hear the same words on Judgment Day from God. You're welcome, I tell you, to repent now. Is my words comforting? Absolutely not. Because I'm rebuking every single one of you right now who has fucked with me and done everything in your power to hurt me. No, guys, this is not performance art. This is real. You wish it was performance art. You wish you had that little, that little thing where you could be like, oh, this isn't real. We aren't actually being convicted. Yeah, you are. Jesus Christ is going to force you to bow your knee to him if you like it or not. You just need more excuses to be unkind. Because you like being unkind. You get off being unkind. You get off at being mean and miserable to someone. It's thrilling to you. Makes you feel good to put someone down so you can feel better. I don't like anyone in my life. They've all betrayed me. They've all stabbed me in the back. Every single person in my life has hurt me 
and stabbed me in the back because of rumors and gossip. I don't show honor to those who dishonor others. Those who dishonor people don't deserve honor. Those who dishonor others deserve rebuke and told they need to repent from their evil deeds. All I am is a woman who is pretty much bed bound trying to have some kind of solace from the torment of her life. I don't have any hope or prospect in life. I just exist and wait for my demise so I can finally have some fucking rest. Instead of hating me, you should hate yourself for how despicable of a person you are. How you look at people and how you treat people. You're disgusting. Your actions are horrible. And if reincarnation is a real thing, you're going to come back as a fucking roach. Over and over and over again. Because it's obvious you haven't learned the spiritual, wholesome lessons of your life. You chose not to listen to the good. You chose not to do good. You chose to be vile. You chose to be despicable. You chose to be hateful. Hopefully a bomb. Because <laughs> that's what truly people deserve. You want to annihilate my life? That's what you deserve is annihilation. You want to throw hate at me? That's what you deserve is hatred. You want to put your nose up on me? You deserve others to put their nose up against you.
if I was treated better, maybe my words would be different. But they're not. Because this is what mankind has shown me. <laughs> I didn't come into this world being loved. I came into this world being despised. And told how I'm not worth living. I came in this world with my parents telling me how I should have been aborted every day of my life. And I agree with them because it would have been better if I was aborted than to feel all this misery and pain. All this sorrow and grief. I get told how disgusting I am and how pathetic I am every day of my life. And you want me to be happy? Ha! No, I can't be happy with those circumstances. No one can feel peace in their heart like that. No one! And you not, don't only do it to humans, you do it to animals too. I've seen videos of dogs and cats starved to death. Because they're treated like they're garbage, like their life isn't precious. I wasn't brought into this world with two loving parents like most people are. I was always told I'm the problem when all I ever wanted was love. Did I get it? No. I got abandonment, though. So, Words from the Bible gives me comfort. When your mother and father forsake you, know that I'm here to raise you up. That's what God said. Amen. I never was my parents' child. Never treated like that at all. They'd make it seem like that on camera, though. And then they tear me up. Because I told on them. I let the world know how abusive they were to me. My story deserves to be told, too.
I deserve dignity. I deserve peace. Because I don't go out of my way to attack people. I don't go out of my way to hurt people. I don't seek vengeance upon people. All I truly want is peace. My number one priority is peace. And if you don't like me, that's not my problem. Go somewhere else to bitch about how horrible I am. Because I don't like you for being a prick toward me. Give me one good reason why I should like any of you who hate on me. Give me one good reason why I should like you. You got none. You use me as your damn it doll. You use me as your fucking mud mat. Pigs. Why do I smell alcohol? What? Why do I smell alcohol? I don't know. There's no alcohol, honey. I'm drinking my monster. <laughs> yeah, right. I've been lied to about that, too. It's amazing how people want trust after you, them lying to you and deceiving you. It's amazing. They demand it from you. So am I your enemy? You sure act like it. Wow. When I've done nothing but give you love in the chat. Yeah. Well, you didn't do it in private, so... There is something wrong with you. Oh, there it is again. There's something wrong with me. There I'm not even reading the chat, Jason. You need therapy, Ann, and so do I. <laughs> A therapist ain't gonna do nothing but validate the fact that I have the right to feel disdain yes. toward it's people who treat me bad. Keep spiraling against the one person that's here to help you. How do you help me when you call me every name in the book? Yeah, I'm done. Have fun. I'm, I'm glad you do it in public. You won't hear from me again. The Pharisees told how wonderful they are in public, too. Again, yeah, because you can't do it in private, can you? It's 
That's why I'm keeping this live stream on, because I know as long as this live stream on, I'm going to be treated with a little decent respect. As soon as it goes off, though, I'm back to being a pig and disgusting. You want it public? You want it public? Why don't you, honey? You've already said it a billion times to me today. Do you want it public? Oh, are you threatening me? Roll your eyes some more. See? Told you he's full of it. Oh, yeah, punch things. That'll make me feel very secure. I've been trying to make you feel secure, and you're going to continue to bully me? I'm not bullying yes, you. Yes, you are. How? How? You're lucky. I'm a nice guy. Oh, what are you going to do if you weren't a nice guy? That you haven't done to me before. Should I tell publicly what you've done to me privately? In Colorado? Oh, roll your eyes again. You want to make me your enemy, I'll be your worst enemy. You already were, so what difference does it make? Oh, I was your enemy when I took you and your kids in. I love that the mask is huh? falling off. Huh? When I took you and your kids in? Enjoy the mask. You remember they that? fell off, people. You Enjoy remember that? Enjoy it. You remember when I took you in my home? Huh? You remember that? You remember when I continually, every day... Defending you to my uncle and keeping you under this roof? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You should be very grateful. Mm hmm. Sure. Sure. I'll feel grateful that you treat me shit. Sure. I'll be so grateful for it. Sure. Thanks for treating me like shit. How do you treat me? Usually, I'm quiet, and I try not to bother you. You ignore me. Because I don't want to be yelled at. Right. Is that the reason you ignore me? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, look at you now. Yeah, because you're continually treating me like your enemy. So you got one if you want one. Well, you treat me like shit. Well, there you go. So continue to treat me like shit. It's not a difference. Yeah? I have a question for you. Do you have like a secret stash of shit that you take? Because you have acted wasted for the past, I don't know, five days. Maybe I'm sick and exhausted is and that tired is? of being bullied by people. Oh. Because you really do act very fucking wasted. Or maybe you're just accusing like the devil. Well, you accuse me. Uh, why do I smell alcohol? I don't know. Because you want to? I do smell alcohol. Do you? Maybe you smell a monster. Because you're drinking one. Now yeah, that smells like alcohol, all right. It, it can. Yeah. Okay. It can. Sure, hon. See, that's how I'm usually treated in private. You want a public, right? Bullied and Oh, I do that all threatened. the time, right, Jan? When I'm wiping your ass. And embarrassing me. Right? Condescending when I wipe your ass. And I love you every fucking day.
but twist it for the drama because you're a fucking drama queen. Uh-huh, sure. The song, A Perfect Circle? Sure. The Outsider, yeah. you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I know I'm the outsider. I don't belong in this world. Yeah. Never have. Narcissistic, drama queen, craving fame and all its decadence. Uh-huh. That's you. Uh-huh. You liking the fame? You got like 400 people in the room. You never did that on your own, did you? Uh-huh. 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 You want an enemy? It's not like I had a fucking person who cared. See? Point given that people choose evil over good. Just proof. Sounds like there's someone on our porch. In public, he loves me. In private, he hates me. And I'm just supposed to put a good face on. It's okay. He doesn't do anything. Uh, looks like your girlfriend wants to talk to you. Your Norway shanty. That's a fake on I don't want this fucking shit. It's poison. Thanks for wasting your money on poison. Zionist company, too. Gross. It belongs in the fucking trash, because that's what it is, is trash. McDonald's is poison. So if you send me McDonald's, you're telling me to eat poison. And I'm not going to. Your words are poison and your actions are poison. Blessing and a curse comes out of your mouth. Oh, I love you. Aw, oh, you're trash. I hate you. I'm going to be your worst enemy. Okay. Good to know that's where your love lies.
If you don't get your way in instant happiness and forgiveness, oh no. I'm back to being trash. Because you treat me like trash. Why? Why should I take your words as truth when you do the opposite? Nobody truly loves me and their actions Show it. I'm Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I'm like, why aren't you wake, staying awake for me? And they all do their own thing. I'm bleeding from my pores and crying my eyes out. They ignore the Lord. Their supposed Lord, they ignore. But it's a lot better being online. He at least decently somewhat behaves instead of going full course. Why do you keep hitting that thing like that? I'm not. I'm just leaning on it. Well, stop it. No, my back hurts. Well, lay down or something, huh? Everything hurts on me. I don't get a break from that either. Of not being in physical pain. So let's just make Shannon's pain worse by emotionally distraughting her. Honey, if your back's hurting, lay down, okay? For real. Okay? Why don't you show me how much of an enemy you can be? No, I'm not, I, I, if you're going to be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Oh, so I have to be the one nice first, right? You're treating me like shit all day when I've been trying to make up with you all day. You've been calling me every name in the book all day. You called me a pig when I said I apologize to you. Can you forgive me? That's what I said in the morning. And you called me a pig. <laughs> Yeah, and you went back to old behavior. Of course, because I'm bipolar, dude. That's going to happen. Well, good. For you. Can you accept my apology for what happened yesterday? And today? No, you started that because uh, I... Oh, I started yes, it. Yes, you did. Because yeah. you called me a pig in the morning. Can we end this and be friends again? What's friendship to you? Love. What's love to you? 
unconditional caring for someone. Yeah. Which I do. <laughs> unconditional. Yeah, I I don't see that. Fair enough. I'll work on that. <laughs> like you've been working at it all these years. I showed you unconditional love when I opened my house to you. Shani, I'm trying to help you. You are spiraling, and I'm trying to help you out of that. I love you. Threaten me and punch me some more. Maybe that will convince me. It's because you kept doing that, man. Doom, doom. Lay down, honey. If you're really tired, lay down, babe. How can I ha go to sleep when someone's yelling at me and calling me disgusting I'm and vile names? I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to do anything like that. If your back is hurting, lay down, honey. Okay? I'm not going to do anything to you. Except love you. Uh-huh. Give him five minutes, he'll go back saying how horrible I am. I want out. I don't want to experience the internet no more. I don't want to experience the shitty man who just wants to hate on me in private and then tell people in public that he loves me. I want to be in a safe environment where I can be myself and I'm allowed to be myself without being shamed or threatened or treated negatively. And something tells me this place isn't here on earth because I've never seen it. I get hate. That's all I get is hate. God sees it. God sees your words. God hears your words. God sees the thoughts in your head. I truly hope I fall asleep one day and never wake up.
I've always felt trapped and controlled. I never felt free and loved. There's always something wrong with me. And it's funny. I don't do what you people do. Usually when I see a flaw in a person, I overlook it. Ignore it the best I can. Because I know I have flaws. I'm not so impolite where I'll point it out and hate on a person for having flaws. But every flaw I have is overanalyzed and thrown in some kind of shadow of darkness. You want compassion from me, but show me no compassion. You want empathy from me, but show me no empathy. You want kindness from me, but show me no kindness. It's amazing all the things people expect of me while they can't do it themselves. I can be kind. I can be merciful. I can be empathic. I can be kind. I can overlook flaws. But I'm never given credit for it. No. What's focused on me is when I'm fed up and I finally say something and be assertive. And then I'm thrown under the bus. And told how disposable I am. You don't give me respect, but you expect respect from me. That's interesting. It's really interesting. Still searching if, if I'm not enough. Where will you go, child? Tell me, where will you run? To where will you run? Because I'll be by your side whenever you fall 
dead of night whenever you call please don't fight these hands that are holding you my hands are holding you <laughs> Look at these hands in my side. They swallow the grave on that night when I drank the world's sin so that I could carry you in and give you life. I want to give you life. Cause I'll be by your side whenever you call Bit of night whenever you fall Please don't fight these hands that are holding you My hands are holding you at my side whenever you fall Bit of night whenever you call Please don't fight these hands that are holding you my hands are holding you. I, I love you. I love you to know. I, I love you. I'll never let you go, go. Fucking cops are here. Dead of night, whenever you call, please don't fight these hands that are. Son of a bitch admitted to the cops that he's been drinking. Son of a bitch admitted to the cops that he was drinking. You still want to say I'm a liar and an enemy? I'm such a liar. So where did he drink? This natty daddy. Since you want to continue to lie to me. Yeah, keep being in denial of that. Liar. I really wonder how long it's been going on because I've been smelling alcohol on your breath for days. How long have you been sneaking behind my back? A little bit. Yeah, again. And then you wonder why I don't trust you. I don't blame you, but I'm going to fix this. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm going tomorrow. Good. I'm going tomorrow, I promise. And you. if I'm not here, you'll know why. You do what you have to do, baby. All right? You yeah, do. I'm done. Being abused by a drunk. There you go. Good. I told you don't come here to my house back in 2018. Don't bring kids into this. You go and try to make yourself seem like you're so in, in, innocent. No, I admitted everything to them. Yeah, to them, but everyone else you lied to. What are you talking about? You said online I was crazy for smelling alcohol. 
Is it live? Is it? Yep. Cool. I lied. Yes. One can. Because my heart rate. But isn't that interesting? My heart rate was going to 110. Isn't that interesting? My heart rate was going to 110, honey. Then go to the hospital. You won't let me because you constantly oh, keep yeah. treating. I'd much rather you drink and treat me like I shit said, than go to oh, the hospital. My, go to the hospital right now then. I'm going to go to Scranton Counseling tomorrow. I told you yesterday to go to the hospital and you didn't. No, you, I said, will you be okay if I go? And I said, no, but go. So you say no to that and I'm supposed to just go. No, I'm not going to be okay. When have I ever been okay? You heard that, folks. It's okay to be not okay. No, it's not. When you're so suicidal every day, you say, I want to die. That's why they came again. Some woman from Michigan called and said, I didn't want to kill myself. You have to stop doing that. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Nope. Yes, you did. Nope. That's why they came here. Do you know what the cop told me to do? 302 you. Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Because you are mentally. What are you fucked. gonna what are you gonna do? Drink more while I'm in I don't have anything else. Fucking sneak. Yeah, I did. Liar. Yep, I lied. Don't expect trust from me. Yeah, don't expect nothing from me no more. I haven't for a long time. Yeah, good for you. You do expect me to wipe your ass, though. Well, you still have to go and put that in, huh? Yeah. Because I take care of you with love. Wash you when you you lift your gut up to, to fucking let me wash you. Yeah, I love you. Huh. Not love me enough to quit drinking. Or treat me decently like a human. Now I know why you've been treating me so bad. No. Now I know why you haven't Wrong. been kissing me. Wrong. Or holding me at night. Wrong. You didn't want me to smell the booze on you. Wrong. I guess I'm back to being the liar, even though I'm not lying about anything. I smelled booze, and you were like, no, you're crazy. No, you were right. Yeah. You were right. Use that male trope of... Let's, let's oh my that. god, she's male a trope. Bitch. Male trope. She's crazy. She's, no. She's... A slut. I was lying to you because you can't handle me having one can to get my fucking heart rate down. Maybe because that one can no, it doesn't. Me like shit. No, what? <laughs> what did I say? I don't know. You what? can't control yourself when you're drinking. Yes, I can. Yeah, you're a completely different person when you drink, and everyone sees it. Wrong. That's one, why they were saying you're drinking. I know can. it. Yeah, to and bring you, my heart rate down. Go to the hospital. I would if you could wipe your own ass. I'm not shitting right now, am I? Go to the hospital.
for what? Your heart rate. It ain't high because I had a can. Yeah, so I get to deal with the drunk. The drunk, abusive piece of shit I hate. God forbid I want the sober sweet Jason. No, I don't get that. I get the drunk, evil piece of shit Jason. I ain't drunk. My ass. I'm not drunk. You're certainly not acting normal either. Well, my normal when I'm manic is running around the fucking house like a goddamn nut. And that's not good for you either, is it? No, nothing is good enough for you. Well, why don't you go to the hospital? Now, what the what the fuck are they going to do for me? Huh? Something. Something? Go. Go now. Fuck you. Yeah. It's all fuck an excuse. You. It's all an excuse. What's an excuse? What? Your heart rate and oh, everything. It's an excuse. Everything's an excuse. Everything is Can you excuse? leave me alone and stop menacing me? Fuck you. You 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 are the most disgusting person next to Gary. You're right underneath him. Yeah, I'm not menacing you. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm not the one who lies. Fuck off. Fuck. Oh no, I'm a whore again. Hey, Another you male are. trope. You are. I would have loved to see how much you flirted with that cop. Would have loved to see that. I flirted with the cop? Yeah, well, I would love to see that. I flirted with the cop. Yeah, because you get any attention from another man, you are on top of it. Sure. Idiot. Thank you for keeping me company, guys. At least he's not going to hit me as long as I'm online. The cop gave me a card for a woman's place. I'm going to be calling tomorrow. Because I'm done dealing with an abusive drunk. Who has no self-control. He claims how much he loves Jesus. And he lies to his wife's face. Condemn me and more. calls her crazy. There's your proof shown on camera. <laughs> yeah. You condemn yourself. I'm just saying what you're doing. You condemn yourself. Sneaking around behind my back. Always calling me crazy when I'm not. Saying I'm lying about it when I'm not.
No. I deserve peace and tranquility. I don't hurt anyone. I don't go out of my way to do anything to anyone. I mind my own business. I do my own thing. That's why I was told names all day and last night. He's been drinking behind my back. And he's proud of it, guys. Trust me, he's proud of it. And the reason why he had to admit he was drinking, because the cops have been seeing him go to the booze store and get an alcohol for himself. That's why. Because he got caught and he has to admit to it. Jason doesn't suffer the consequences of his drinking. I suffer the consequences of his drinking. I get treated like shit. I wish I was capable of just going wild one night. Without facing the consequences of being yelled at and told how much of a slut I am. Even though I don't sleep with anybody. You can't really sleep with a man who gets limp dick because he drinks. And then uses me being sick as an excuse to not get the help he needs. Because he may say he wants help, but he really doesn't want it. Because if he actually wanted help, he'd get it. He can easily leave me to get a beer and, and cigarettes. Da 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 da
He does make fun of me for being too fat all the time. You don't see it because it makes him look bad to the public. You want him to abuse me. That's why you encourage him to do it. You men and women of filth. Of demonic fucking shit. Like, he's feeling good. He's, he's had his booze. He doesn't give a shit if he hurts me or not. I wish I could take a vacation away from everyone. I wish I was with Chantel in Thailand and just yeah, doing sure. my own thing. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly where you'd like to be. So you could lay out like a fucking whale with her. Better to lay like a whale than be treated like garbage. Better to lay like a whale than be lied to. He took everything from me. Everything I loved has been taken away from me. So, your dad was military. And you worked for the military, too. You were assigned to be my handler. What? It worked. It worked. You destroyed me. I was designed to be your handler. You were assigned by the government to be my handler. It worked. Uh huh. Is this some weird drunken paranoia now? I'm drunk. Okay, hon. Whatever you say. I'm going to be free soon. At least I'm not believing like a, a lie like you are right now. That's pretty fucking crazy sounding. I'm not a very good handler if I can't handle you, dude. I can't even walk. You did everything you were supposed to do. Make me go broke. Yeah, and I had no discussion with government entities over this. 
It just happened. Right? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You're not thinking clearly at all. You're acting delusional. I can see all obstacles in my way. Okay, hon. Enjoy your delusion. What are you going to do? Give him more money so he can drink more, guys? So he can abuse a fucking disabled woman more? Or get more cigarettes for the abusive fucking woman I'm with. I'm not abusive at all. I'm not the one who lies and sneaks and hides and do things behind my back. You've probably been talking to women behind my back, too, and sleeping with them. Like, I can't trust you one bit. You claim you're of God and you lie? Watch him not go to what he says he's going to go to tomorrow, too. You're probably drinking some more, aren't you, buddy? Coffee. Uh-huh. Demons. Humans are demons. And you think you're all, like, all good because you have demonic people supporting you in your alcoholism. And the cops are telling you, stop it. And I am. Yeah? When are you going to stop lying to me? And sneaking behind my back? And then act I'm the bad guy in the relationship. Call me crazy for smelling alcohol, and I did. I mean, don't you have an ounce of fucking consciousness in you? Like, this is wrong, what I'm doing? Yes. This is ungodly behavior? Have you ever thought of that? Is it ungodly behavior to try and bring my heart rate down? You should have gone to the hospital, Jason. Like I've been telling you to. How? Get in your car or call 911. And what are you going to do here alone? Survive. What? You don't think about me when you go to get your drugs and your fucking cigarettes and your fucking booze. My drugs? Your booze. My drugs? Yeah, that's your drug. Yeah, and you scream at me if you don't have your Delta. 
No, I don't. Yes, you do! No, Liar. I don't. Yes, you do! Uh-huh, who's really yelling right now and screaming fuck. right now? Yeah, God, fuck. God, I can't wait to be free of you. I cannot fucking wait. You're to be gonna free. be crying like a baby, getting wait. drunk off your no, ass no, and killing no. yourself. I am codependent, but I will You're get, gonna end up I killing will yourself. I will get free of you. Yeah. I can't wait to be free from you, too. I don't have Praise to be God. around someone who calls me names and treats me like I'm trash. Praise God. And expendable. I don't have to be around a man who brags about teenagers flirting with him. And lies about, lies to me about cheating. And then use some lame excuse that I blame you for cheating. And then lies to the audience and say, I can't go to the hospital because Shannon won't let me. And make it seem like I'm controlling you when I'm not. Obviously, I don't control you. You do whatever you want. If I ask to go to the hospital and you tell me no, when I ask you, you're going to be okay, you think I'm going to go? No, I'm not going to be okay. Did you want a, a negative uh, answer where it's going to be like, yeah, I'll be okay? No, I'm not going to be okay. So go to the hospital. You don't give a shit. You want to break up with me. So why is going to the hospital a problem? I don't want to break up with you. You just said you can't wait to be free from me. Yeah, because you, right now you are continuing to attack me. Because you lied to me and deceived me and said I was crazy. Yes, to bring my heart rate down I did. I'd rather you go to the hospital! What do you think they're going to do for me at the hospital with a high heart rate? Probably give you an Ativan and let you sit there and calm the fuck down. Alright, alright. I'll go now, then. I'll go now. And I want to thank whoever sent the McDonald's. That was kind. It's your girlfriend from Norway. No. No, it says Charlie H. Charlie H. You see the name? Yeah, enjoy the poison. I bless my food and eat it. Yeah, I'm not eating poison. Yeah, good for you. If you were starving, you wouldn't say that. If I was starving, I still wouldn't eat that poison. You're full of shit. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'd rather starve. Yeah, right. How dare you touch my honeycomb ice cream? You ate it all, so what the fuck are you complaining about? I didn't even have a taste. So you wouldn't take one. Because I don't want to eat when I'm upset and sick. Oh. So go to the hospital. Do yourself a favor. I'm going to. Yeah? I'm wondering when. You should tell them you've been treating your wife like shit, too. I'll tell them more than that. 
Yeah, go. Do it. I promise I'm not going to lie to you. Sneak behind your back and drink. While you're in the hospital like you did with me. He's not going. He's full of shit. He doesn't want to get help. He uses me as an excuse to not get help. Why you want to be alone in this house? You going to get some guy to come over here and fuck your disgusting ass? Is that what you're worried about? Usually the ones who point the fingers are the ones doing the things that they're accusing the other person of. I'm not the one who calls prostitutes to go fuck you in the park. You do that. No, you're just the one. You should worry about your own infidelity before you worry about mine. You're just the one that let yourself become bed bound again by not moving. Yeah, I let myself be bed bound. That's right. It's nothing to do with my illnesses. He's not going to get help, guys. I took my wallet and keys. I'm going. Mm, yeah. Okay. I am. Well, I hope to hear from you from the hospital. I will call you. I'll try to. Then watch for a call. Yeah. That's where our money goes, to its fucking booze. And your cigarettes. Mm-hmm. He's probably not even going to go to the hospital. He'd probably go to someone's house and get drunk with them. See, 
there you go. <laughs> Can't lie to someone and say they're crazy and then expect trust. Sorry, don't work that way. <laughs> yeah. If only you'd go. I am. Sure you are. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes before he comes back. Probably going to get some more fucking booze and drink. It's not my first fucking rodeo with this dude and his bullshit. And I'm always blamed for his bullshit. And I'm really sick of taking up for the guy. I'm going to be calling that woman's place tomorrow. Maybe they can get me out of this situation. And I can finally focus on being happy again. I'm all alone and I have no one. But at least I can focus on myself. That's all that matters to me. He don't give a shit. He just wants to lie behind my back and drink. And be sneaky. <laughs> and then preach about Jesus like he cares. <laughs> yeah, right. Aren't you getting sick of being lied to him, by him, like I'm sick of being lied to? Aren't you sick of being gaslighted? I am. I'm sick of being told I'm crazy for smelling something I obviously have been smelling. And being treated badly because he drinks. He doesn't think he changes when he drinks. Uh huh. He's a fucking liar. Everyone sees it. He never gave a shit about me. And I'm just going to be honest, this really has been the worst relationship I've ever been in. Oh, he's back and forth. I love you. I hate you. I want nothing to do with you. I love you. I hate you. I want nothing to do with you. My emotions and feelings constantly played with and lied to. It's amazing how many supposed believers in Christ act like the devil. I'm fed up being treated like shit. I'm fed up not being treated like a person.
He didn't lie because I couldn't handle it. He lied because he knows what he's doing is wrong. I'm always an excuse for his poor behavior. <laughs> Especially when I just... I, 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 I don't approve of his bad behavior. But yet I'm blamed for it. He tries to cheat on me and I'm blamed for it. He drinks and I'm blamed for it. Notice I'm to blame for his actions, but he's not to be blamed for his actions. Or he's a poor little fucking victim. <laughs> Asshole. I'm sending him money so he can get booze. That's nice. Isn't that funny? So sick. I didn't do anything. I don't feel good. I haven't felt good in days. <sighs> Hey, um, Teddy Bear, why don't you do what you should be doing? Hmm. He went. He's gone. He left the house, man. I'm not starving, the dumbass. He eats all the fucking time. Shut up. How am I grifting anyone? I want the man sober and healthy. I want him to stop yelling. I should have gone for what? Thank you, Jules. I'm not provoking him in fights, asshole.
Fuck off, Vaughn. You're an asshole. In UBGTV, you're an asshole too. Yeah, he left Krista. Fuck off, whore. I don't see you sick enough for someone and telling them not to treat people like trash. I wish I was high. I'm not. It's called depression. Do you know what depression is? I beg to be abused. Go fuck yourself. What a horrible thing to say to someone. No, I don't love chaos. Does it sound like I love it? Yeah, I know I haven't been looking. I haven't been looking good. It's called being sick. You're glad I have depression? You're a horrible person. Listen, I drank, was so mean to my husband, didn't mean any of it. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. If you know something you're doing is hurting your significant other, you probably should stop doing that thing that's hurting your significant other. I'm fed up. I'd be trying to gather all the important paperwork tonight while he's away and hide it. He has everything of mine in his wallet. He doesn't let me have it. I lost both of my parents within a few months. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, well, you know what? When someone's barking in your ear and you call them annoying, that's their problem, not yours. I'm not going to apologize for him being fucking annoying. What did the cops say? That he's been drinking. Behind my back. And telling me I need to go to a shelter. I did nothing wrong. Other than say, I didn't like being treated badly. And if you have a problem with that, go to hell. I don't make him to apologize to me. Fuck off. <laughs> How does making someone apologize to you is genuine? It's not. I want a genuine apology. Dumb shit. If I make him apologize to me, why don't I accept his apology? Dumb ass.
No one's baited him, you stupid bitch. No. Well, you can go away, take down me, and go fuck yourself, dude. I don't give a shit. Go talk your trash somewhere else, man. And probably I'm gonna go to a shelter. You don't know what I do all the time. Most of the time I'm crying and depressed. And not loved. Thank you, semen demon. I know soon you'll know peace and be rid of toxic people in your life. Thank you, Lori. I really need that. Am I going to forgive him for this? I don't. I know I have to. But. Like. I've been lied to. And treated disrespectfully for so long by him. Just for him to say I'm sorry. And do it all over again. Like there isn't true repentance with him. He doesn't really feel guilty. I know I can reorder my birth certificate, Sabella. Nobody is, you ain't telling me the truth. How is being obnoxious and hateful to me telling me the truth? No, he didn't tell me where he was going. You're fighting with your man too. Men suck, Lord Ren. They suck. Thank you, Sabella. He has all my paperwork. Thank you. Fuck off, Ellie. Why do you have to condescend me like that? Yeah, I'm probably gonna leave. I'm probably gonna call in the morning. It's not open right now. Thank you, Sabella. No one gives a shit, Grandma. Go to hell. No. 
hostage in my own home. I feel like a hostage in my body. Yeah. I didn't do anything to myself. He's probably taken advantage of a lot of things from me. He obviously takes advantage of my trust. Go away, Ronnie. Make arrangements for the cats. I don't want to leave my kids. I love my kids. I love my Kit Kats. He came back. I just heard his fucking... A fucking radio on his fucking TV. Yeah, trust is really hard to earn, but really easy to lose. He's just driving around. He can't blame bipolar when he refuses to get help. Yeah, and he uses me as an excuse on why he doesn't get help. And tries to make me look like I'm being horrible to him. And it's like, I, I ask him to get help all the fucking time. <sighs> it's not right. Shani, he doesn't go because of the care you require. No, he doesn't go because he refuses to get help. He uses that as an excuse to you guys to make me look like I'm some kind of villain. I don't play fair how. How exactly, asshole? <sighs> Fuck off, Amanda. I actually believe that he does use it as an excuse. Yeah, he does.
Exactly, Michelle Riviera. I'll be fine for a couple hours once a week. He's just making excuses. Exactly. I'm debating becoming a lesbian. Same. He said you should be in a nursing home. He said you should be in a nursing home and that he was your full-time caregiver. I'm sorry, but that's what he said. Yeah, he says a lot of things. <laughs> He's waiting for a quick fix and miracle cure. Yeah, that's booze for him. Fuck off with your bullshit. No, he's he's not back yet. What can you do to help me? I don't know. Yeah, I heard his radio <laughs> driving around, I am assuming. One stupid question. Does it seem like this is what I want my life to be? <sighs> what a stupid question. Does it seem like I'm in approval of this? <sighs> Dumbass. You know, blame someone who is being lied to and abused. Yeah, just fuck off. That's true, Michelle. I'm going to go get some sleep. Try to anyway. I'll be back if I can.